this is a floating island. The purpose is to clarify the water of this previously chemical pool that now that is now a natural swimming pool. For the construction of this um, floating island, we have used mainly coir products, cocoa peat, cocoa geotextiles, bamboo, mainly organic material. Uh, we will show you now how to build them, what ingredients to use. We need different kind of ingredients. I will start with the main ingredients or materials needed. This is a what we call a geotextile, totally natural, made of coir, C-O-I-R, which is the husk of the coconut. This is a uh, woven and the weight of it is 400 grams per square meter. This is the geotextile non-woven or unwoven. Uh, so this is basically the fiber of the coconut that's sandwiched into a very fine plastic netting that you might be able to see here. Then we will use what we call cocoa peats, these bricks, each of them 650 grams. They also come in 5 kgs uh, that we will put in water now and it will decompress by more or less six to seven times. So one briquette like this becomes more or less eight liters of growing medium. We put one in this drum about Five minutes ago and we can see how far we are yes it's actually very nicely decompressed fairly quickly but we think we'll have to add a bit more water and another brick so we'll add all of that a bit later in five ten minutes we will also use these bamboo sticks of different length this is about 1.5 meters this is about 2.2 meters. We will then uh, put them across like this, but also lengthwise like this. And like that. So now we're going to weave those bamboo sticks into the, the geotextile mesh like this. One up, one down. One up, one down. And so on. And you want to talk about the direction of the reed? Ah, yes, that's right. Those nodes here. This, if you, there's two ways to do it. And if you do it the right way, the, the sticks will go um, easier Smoothly, into, yes. the, into the mesh. So make sure that you use the, the nodes. From the bottom up, actually, the bottom as up. the reed grows. Yeah. So it's run smoothly in. That's right. Yes. Okay. Fairly quick if you do it the right way, you know. If you miss one or two, it's fine. Don't worry about that. So we are halfway. The logic is to uh, put uh, these bamboo sticks separate like this, more or less. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, more or less, or eight sticks like these and then once this is done we will fold that end towards this end to make a kind of an envelope. But this is not weaved in but we will use more or less 10 sticks, uh, bamboo sticks in lengthwise. Uh, you must make sure that the bamboo that you, you will purchase or, or find is not too thick. This is the maximum thickness. Ideally, we want this thickness, which is, I don't know, I mean in meters, but you see what I mean, huh? Not too thick. To get through the holes, basically. Yeah, that's right. All right. Here is Pat doing some weaving. <laughs> so here's the... Uh, cocoa peat previously in the compressed blocks uh, about 10-15 minutes now you can see it's nice and loose it's odorless 
So what is the function of this coca peat now? Is this kind of your soil? This is a, the growing medium, that's ah, right. Okay. To which we must add some nutrients. Yes. So that's just a container that just holds the nutrients really? Yeah. Okay. A carrier. Well. Yeah, and so sustainable, not like peat moss. That's not so sustainable because uh, it takes ages to regenerate. But this, I mean, they, they harvest uh, coconuts the whole year through, and one palm tree can. Uh, they harvest three times a year, I think, in India. So yes, it is very much self-sustainable. Cool. Right? Okay, we've now weaved the bamboo sticks in the lengthwise. Now it's going to be a crosswise. I don't know if we cut it like that. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, like this, up, always use as much netting as you as you got available. So it's over and under. Same yeah. system again? Same system. And the ones across will go, all of those sticks will go on top of the ones that are lengthwise. Oh, I see. This whole one sits actually yeah, on top. Yeah, on top, yeah. Now the first one actually went up and down as well. Remember, I put the cross beams in. <laughs> but this is perfect. Up and down, up and down. That's up, and we leave it like this for now. Now, what we're going to do is put uh, the cocoa fiber like this. Throw it a bit everywhere, everywhere like that. Use quite a lot, huh? because we, we actually need that. The function of this is to add to the to the growing medium mix. Ah, okay. And and to hold the mix as well yeah, in place. Eh? Mix, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that's enough cocoa fiber. For now, now we're gonna uh, add the cocoa peat to it. Put it down. Use our hands. And sprinkle, 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 little star. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is your icing on top of your cake here. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like chocolate. It's not chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it were. <laughs> this is the vermigrow, vermigrow whatever yeah. fertilizer you're going to use. Natural product, please. <laughs> Goes on top of the growing medium, yeah. which is called Koya what? Peat? Coco peat. Coco peat. Oh, Koya peat, yeah, people call it. Also. Taking, we're closing the, the structure like this up. Perfect. And now we're gonna you do is quickly train the, the, the ends of the bamboo across here on this side. And once that is done, what are you doing? You're just pulling it out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Okay. And once that is done, we're just going to use cable ties to secure the whole structure. So we're gonna put cable ties everywhere. At We've got a hundred here, I think we're going to use only 50. So you close the envelope with cable ties? That's yeah. right. Cool. Now that the, the floating island is constructed, we're just cutting off the excess bamboo. Only for aesthetic reason. There's no other reason but uh, for the looks. Okay. Hi. Okay, there, there we are now. Uh, we have um, made our selection of plants. These are mainly uh, marginal aquatic plants, moisture-loving plants, but 
terrestrial, normal terrestrial plants uh, that like a lot of water will work as well. Uh, so we've placed the, our selection of plants here and then, see how it looks. Now we're going to start planting the island. So I'm going to choose this one for instance. Up. Take it out of the bag. I'm going to get it out like this. Right. Now you don't want uh, to overload the island with too much soil. So I'm going to get rid of most of the soil gently, not to disturb the root system too much. There we are. the space for it. It will be easy to create a, a hole on, the, on this uh, textile but this one you'll have to make a hole with a, a knife or a pair of scissors. In this case I use scissors. So you cut through your textiles so that you can make a little and now, hole. And now, simply. In it goes. There we are. Just taking the excess soil off to plant the uh, restio. Is there restio, hey? Uh, six, yeah. yeah. Make a little hole. Open it up to the soil level. Junkus. Junkus. And in it goes. Now we add a little bit of soil all around. <laughs> and the moment has come to put our island in the water, in the swimming pool. Let's do it gently. It's not too heavy, but yes, you need to be able to carry it. It seems fine, but if in the future you'll see that the island sinks a little bit, there's an easy way to fix the problem is to use these empty plastic bottles with a handle that you will anchor with cable ties. This oh, one here is our old island. Yeah, that's the first island that we've built. That was about five weeks ago. And uh, underneath this one is four bottles. And that's enough. And that Flows works beautifully. Well, yes, One at every corner.